Hey, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, I want to highlight Corey Holcomb's response to Donnell Rollins confronting him live at the Laugh Factory. And just in case if you guys had missed when Donnell Rollins had confronted Corey Holcomb, let's highlight that again right here. Here's a video. M-I-L-D. You catch up. You ain't have some Nobody agree? So I'm wrong. Okay, I can be wrong. I'm talking about, but we at the, we at the, um, what is this called? This is the Laugh Factory. If we was at the Savoy, you wouldn't be able to be up here that long. You be like, get your whole ass down. Okay, so that's Donnell Rollins confronting Corey Holcomb live at the Live Factory. Corey Holcomb had did his podcast show tonight, and I would like to highlight a little bit of what Corey Holcomb had to say. This is not the full response. I will have Corey Holcomb's 5150 podcast linked down below, so you guys can go over there and check out the full response. I'll have the timestamp and everything for you guys as well. So with that being said, let me highlight what Corey Holcomb had to say tonight in response to Donnell Rollins confronting him live at the live factory here's a video before i highlight the clip guys be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well if you're new to the channel i really do appreciate that let's check out the Corey hogan clip right here so i'm up here at this lab factory craig yeah so i took a chance i went inside and naturally they asked me to go up whenever i pop in everybody be so shocked damn Corey came in like me, they, they be scared to let me go up in the middle of them shows because after I get off, then y'all can't pull off what y'all trying to pull off. You know this, but that hurt the whole n feelings. Hmm. So long story short, whole n went up there, did his time, plus stayed on longer. Let me tell all you, all you mild ass comedians, it don't matter how long you stay on. Soon as you get off, they finna see another level of comedy when I go up. The whole ass, I didn't even know the was in there. I thought I thought he left because he act like he was leaving out. Yeah. The security guard at the front told me after all of the bullshit happened, that whole ass act like he was leaving, but he was like, nah, f that. I'm gonna watch this. So he had some animosity with me. Right. I ain't never did nothing but been respectful to that boy because I'm scared of people that's ugly. Oh, I... Ugly people never get a fair shot in life. <laughs> Let's just say that. Oh, when you man. ugly... Do we got that picture? Can you put that picture up for a second? When you ugly, dog, the world is cold. You could, you could, be, a, you could be caked up. You could have had a bag but you still ugly. That's why I'm scared of ugly people, man. That boy looked like one of them kids you donate money to, like 40 cent a week or something like that. Right, right. 
You know the little boy? <laughs> Did he start laughing? He one of them looking <laughs> Look. This is a picture of self-hate. <laughs> he ugly. He didn't want to make a baby with nobody that remotely looked like him. So this is some male order bride looking at Asian woman that he bred with and she left him right after the baby was out because he ugly. <laughs> ugly people will do something to you or start mess because they ain't got nothing to lose. As anybody who was there that night, when I said, if you done done three or more movies, you probably, I don't know how probably is spelled right now, but probably had a d in your ass. That struck the nerve in that d for him to start talking crazy and yelling while I was on stage. So all you people out there who think Corey is the who is the aggressor, you wrong. He a whole ass n who wanted some attention. Look, he did about an extra 10 minutes than what he was supposed to do talking about my DVD coming out, y'all, and, and, and y'all gotta support it and all that sucker s I hope this DVD, I, I hope this Netflix s funny, garbage ass n I want you to be rich as you could be cause you ugly. You need Oprah Winfrey type paper to walk the <laughs> earth like you want to walk the earth, homie. You ugly. Your neck like this. It's naturally like this. Watch that <laughs> when he relax. You know, when people relax, they do this. That <laughs> relax and do this. <laughs> it still be up. Yeah. I said, if we were somewhere outside of Hollywood, you wouldn't be acting like this. And them people wouldn't let you talk as long as you talk. Right. He knew I was going up. That's why he was mad. Y'all act like I'm the who walk around disrespecting people. Right. It's people out here know that they are men who mess with men, but they want to act like people hating on them. He, it's people out here who know that you funny, and they want to act like, oh, you said something to him. Corey right. Holcomb don't say nothing to these people out when I'm in the streets. Are y'all crazy? That man is that man ugly. That's what all that stem from. He ugly. Of course not talented. Like I said, he mild as a comedian. Yeah. He the type of n you be like, oh, okay, on tours, he always opening up. Okay, so that's what Corey Holcomb had to say about it. And I have to agree with Corey Holcomb as far as him saying that we don't see Corey Holcomb doing that to other comedians outside of his podcast. You know, Corey Holcomb has every right to say what he has to say on his podcast, but you don't see him confronting comedians live messing up their sets, messing up their shows, heckling them or whatever, right? So yeah, man, 2024 is just the new thing with comedians now, man. These comedians is going crazy right now thanks to Cat Williams' explosive interview with Shannon Sharp, man, on Club Shay Shay. That's it for today's video. If you made this far in the video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you made this far in the video, don't forget to subscribe up as well. Leave a comment down below. I would love to hear y'all thoughts about today's video. Catch you guys on the next video and we out, guys. Peace.